All right, what's on the bench? It's a cute little display. I love this little thing. Um, it's an HP, uh, an HCMS 2902, made in Malaysia in 1994. It's a cute little guy. It's a four, four uh, digit display with uh, a matrix of LEDs. Let's look at the data sheet here. Um, yeah, chip of the day. Uh, there's a 29XX series, high performance 5x7 alphanumeric display. Pretty cool thing. Um, we have in our possession this little guy here. We have the 212902. We have this one, which is HER. Um, that is the color of the LED. We'll turn it on. And uh, there's a deep red, then there's a high efficiency red, which is brighter, and then there's a uh, orange, yellow, greens. So we have this one here, package A, and it is a 12-pin device. Uh, it's serial input, so you can have an external oscillator, but you can have internal ones. So you don't need too many pins. You need, you need voltage, data in, uh, register select, either control or data. You need to have a clock for your data chip enable, blanking pin, you, you could just wire that high so you never blank the part, ground uh, select, I uh, forget what that one is, uh, V-Logic is uh, the voltage for the chip, and this is the voltage for the LED, you can just tie them both to 5 volts, and then you can have a reset line if you'd like one. All right, so... Um, Let's see here. There's a block diagram in here. Let's look at the block diagram. Yeah, this one. So this is what's inside this beast. Uh, there's the matrices over here. All right. So they're organized in eight uh, bit columns, although row zero has no LEDs in it. Okay. And so you can write eight bits at a time in the columns, but only seven are going to show up because it's five by seven. And uh, then there's the three of eight decoder. It scans the thing, all refreshes it, internal oscillator or external oscillator. Uh, you've got uh, some current sources for the LEDs. Here are the shift registers. So 40 bit, 40 bit, 40 bit, 40 bit shift register. You, data comes in here, it goes, brrr, it goes into there, brrr, it goes into there, brrr, it goes into there. Um, so, we're going to need some data ins and clocks to get the data in it. Chip enable, register select, uh, oscillator select and stuff. Okay. So, uh, here is the little board I built. We will pop the part in right about there. Boom. Um, so, uh, we're going to be using an AT Tiny 414. And we just need some volts. Let's see. Here's some volts. All right. There you go. It lights up. Uh, right now, I'm just writing uh, random data to it. But you can see that we have uh, random data changing there. Can I zoom in? Yeah, I can zoom in. Random data changing. All right. And um, I have a program such that if I make this pin zero, it does a different program. And this is actually a binary count. If you go from left to right, you will see the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in binary going across. And um, yeah, so that's what it is. Now, in order for this thing to become a usable display, one would have to invest some time into software. You need a character map that maps bits into A, B, C, D, letters that you, can, that you can read. And then you need to have a counter in there that uh, shifts through your, your uh, uh, character map. And uh, yeah, I mean, you could get a font file and use the font file and blah, blah, anyway. I am not a software guy. I do not like software. I really don't like software. So I'm going to end, I'm going to end uh, the project here knowing that I could if I really wanted to. But yeah, this, this little part's kind of a pain in the patootie um, to use because you have to have that character map. It's not built in. All right. So anyway, there you go. That was the uh, 
chip of the day. What, what did I say it was? It was an HCMS 2902 LED from the Wayback Days. I don't know if you can still buy these or not. This is a Broadcom data sheet. Broadcom ended up with uh, the old HP stuff. They do their fiber optic stuff and other things. I'm not sure exactly what all Broadcom got out of HP, but LEDs is one of them, and they still support still support the uh, LED line. And I'll just show you a quick uh, look at the software, and it's just writing a bit to the part. You need to write data 160 bits into the part, and then you need to write uh, two 8-bit words of control language. It's all spelled out in the data sheet, but yeah.